Welcome to the first video in a series on building what I would refer to as a selectable latching relay circuit. I received quite a few viewer requests about a circuit of this type and so throughout this series we'll be building a selectable latching relay circuit. What is a selectable latching relay circuit? Well, it's pretty simple. We have four momentary buttons, normally open momentary buttons, three of which enable us to control three mutually exclusive latching relay circuits. And the fourth momentary button serves as a master reset so that we can turn any of them that happen to be on at a certain time off. Just to demo that, if we push the first momentary button, it latches on this particular latching relay circuit. If we push the second button, it latches on the second latching relay circuit. After first unlatching the one that was on previously, and if we push the third button, it'll latch on the third latching relay circuit and unlatch any that were previously on. And we can do this in any order. We could go backwards, forwards. We could go to the middle and then jump to the end and then jump from the end all the way back to the beginning. And once we're through with our latching or our load, whatever we wanted it to do. I'm using LEDs, but you could use motors or whatever you needed at a given time. We can push this button and clear the board and be back to zero with no circuits latched on. And then we could start back in the middle on the end. We can latch and unlatch them in any form we want. They're just mutually exclusive, meaning only one can be on at any given time. In the next video, we'll talk through the thought process involved in building this particular circuit. In some sense, the thought process is perhaps more valuable than actually just building it on a board. Having a circuit built is useful if you have an application for it, but walking through how to think through the process of building it before putting any components on the board is helpful in understanding what's going on so that you would be enabled to go forth and build other sorts of circuits in the future. Just a final note that one could of course use a microcontroller to do this but the viewer requests were for a non-microcontroller and IC version of this using just transistors, diodes, and relays and momentary buttons, just normal standard components without going to the point of a microcontroller that would require a certain amount of coding. But it's worth noting that you could use a microcontroller to do this exact same thing with a lot fewer components as well as the microcontroller would enable you to, in a sense, infinitely expand it. You could have 50 latching relays and 50 momentary buttons as well as mode buttons so that you could have, they wouldn't have to be mutually exclusive where you could push a sequence of momentary buttons and have eight of your 50 relays on and then you could set them up to be on for a certain amount of time and then turn off after a certain period of time. And the microcontroller gives you a huge range of possibilities if you want to expand and make a bigger and bigger and bigger circuit. But just in terms of getting started, beginning style electronics, this is a really cool circuit to learn and work through. And in the next video, we'll talk through a little bit of the thought process involved in figuring out how to build a circuit like this one. And then in the third video in the series, we'll start building this circuit.